guys in there. Are they all B? Nope, nobody. He's nobody up top, B. second floor. Whoever that is on that broken building. I got him. Bro, Where what the that? fuck? Oh, dark. From our spawn. What happened, man? I thought you were legit. You deserve to run shit. You're running 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 shit. You're the funny thing is I literally missed four shots in a row and then I get permabanned. And I thought, you know, no big deal. I'm sure it's just some mistake. So we're gonna message our homies over at Activision. This was at like three in the morning. So we sent them a message at like four in the morning. And then when I wake up, um, they're like, your account's permanently banned. Something was on your account that was manipulating game memory. I think it was the words were your machine was manipulating game memory on the game. I don't know what the heck that means. So pretty much me and Daryl looked at my computer and we were trying to figure out what program it could have been because I mean, I've never cheated. I never have. I never will. I never would. Daryl used to use this PC and he had like some programs for World of Warcraft add-ons. Like I believe it was Forge. It was like Forge and Overlord or something. There was like two programs. And not only that, I mean, Activision, they, so it was, the whole thing was really weird because they would not tell me what it was specifically, but they would tell me what it wasn't. So the first day that we asked, we asked about three programs. We're like, is there, is it a possibility that it's any of these three programs? And they said no. And then right before I got on stream, we were like, wait a second, I have a foot pedal on my gaming PC. So we were like, wait, it might be my foot pedal. So we hit him up, asked him if it was the foot pedal, um, because that was the only other program that was running on my gaming PC besides the game itself. And so we all thought it was the foot pedal, but it didn't really make any sense though, because it's literally, if you just type in foot pedal on Amazon, it's the first foot pedal that comes up. And I've been using the same foot pedal for years. So just the whole thing was so weird. Cause like I said, they, they would not tell me what it was specifically, but they would tell me what it wasn't. So the next day comes around and then we find out it's not the foot pedal. And I'm thinking to myself, what? What could this be? The day after I got banned, or the same day, I guess. So I got banned on a 3 a.m. I got banned 3 a.m. on like a Thursday. So later that Thursday when I woke up, I was talking to my Activision guy and I was like, I've been getting griefed by hackers. Like I've been getting stream sniped by quite a few different groups um and like a week maybe even just like three or four days before this happened i was getting griefed by stream sniping blatant hackers it has to be some sort of exploit dude ah! and i was like is there any way a hacker could have done something to my account and they were very firm they're like no it is impossible that is there's there's no possible way a hacker can manipulate your account, make it think that you have cheats on your machine um, that would flag ricochet, that that could not happen. That was the only thing that I could think that was happened. I thought that my account was hacked. Not only did me and Daryl look at my PC multiple days, but then we also had uh, Godfrey, who um, works with Sammy on a lot of these tournaments, and he is a guru at looking, digging through PCs. And I would, I mean, he was super, super nice, very, very helpful. We talked about a lot of things, um, and he didn't see anything on my computer either. 13 days go by, um, I'm still going through it. Like those 13 days were pr the hardest days that I've streamed in my life. And I mean, I'm still dealing with some backlash over because people still think that I cheated. But I mean, you can go through my YouTube comments, you guys on my YouTube videos, there would be hundreds, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments of just people calling me out for being a cheater. And like all my friends knew like Huskers on rational rally, like all my homies that I game with, they knew that I never cheated. You guys, I, I never even want to like, I don't want to be the best. I want to be the most entertaining after 13 days of getting harassed online. I mean, I had a hard time streaming. Like I said, this was the most difficult time People on the internet would just come into my chat and just, just say the most foul things after a while. I mean, I don't want to sit here and lie to you guys. It definitely the weight continued to add up and eventually it was just, it just was tough now he's gonna crash the fucking server oh my fucking god now he's literally gonna crash the fucking server dude on fucking believable i mean i learned a lot i hope i never have to go through this again i hope no one ever does but i mean especially being a streamer and having thousands and thousands of eyes on you just people in the online community that just want to bring you down. Oh, not everybody, but there's some people that are on the internet. They just want to see you 
crumble. They want to see you fail. I mean, on my YouTube videos, on my Twitter videos, on in my live streams, I had to ban subscribers that were subbed for years. There was like a four or five year subs. There was multiple uh, long tenured members of the Scarf Squad that we had to permanently ban from the chat that were just being just so foul and disgusting. I have really thick skin. I mean, I deal with haters every single day and I'm grateful that I do have thick skin, but there's some people out there that don't have thick skin. Like imagine if this happened to someone else in a different situation and, and um, I mean, man, I mean, I just, I, we didn't even know what to do, but the, the only reason why I got unbanned is because 13 days after I got banned, Sensor and Parasite, two professional CDL players or former CDL players, everyone knows them, they got perma banned as well. And I actually talked to Sensor, I talked to Parasite in the DMs, and they didn't really deal with the backlash that I dealt with because um, mine was for 13 days and it was all over the internet. So, I mean, I, and again, I put right after I got banned, I po posted a screenshot because I thought it was a joke. And like the, you'd Cloaksy repost in my screenshot, bro. I saw Cloaksy's tweet saying he got perma banned. And I was like, dude, I'm so happy he got perma banned too. But then I called him and he was like, nah, I'm just kidding. I didn't get perma banned. I was like, fuck. I mean, the only reason why I got unbanned though is because Sensor and Parasite got banned. I was the only one. I mean, I went through it for 13 days longer than those guys. But after they got banned, they were talking to Activision. And then Activision finally found out that there was an exploit going around where hackers could manipulate your account, making Ricochet think that you had cheats on your machine when really you never did. It was the hackers. So 14 days after I got perma banned, I get my account back and I started fucking crying. I was told I would never get my account back. I was told that I would never be invited to another Call of Duty event. I was told I was off the mailing list. I was told that I would never be associated with them. With be, with, I, I would never be able to work with them. There would be no association between Big Bob and Activision. Yeah, they, they can't move. They asked me to play with them. We just got second place. And I think we have a viral clip going around of me and Nick Merckx in proximity chat. It was hilarious. Oh my God. Yo, is hey, that Nick Merckx? What's up, bitch? Excuse me? What's up, bitch? Hey, you me. ready for these fucking nuts? Bob, you ready? You Bob, talking you ready? shit about I'm my mustache? You, son. I'm you talking you, son. shit about my mustache? Lay, lay you talking shit about my mustache? Lay down your mustache, what you got I'm gonna put you in the dirt, Bobby, for real. Joe, whoa. Hey, Bobby. Hi, Joe. Bro, you were carrying multi. I mean, like I said, I, I have thick skin, but after two weeks of just an unknown, it was really frustrating. It was frustrating at first, and then just the weight continued to pile up, and then it turned more into just a depressing, dude. It was, it was rough, because my name, everything I've worked through for the last six years was drugged through the mud, and it was just, it was really tough. But um, I was very fortunate that um, I got my account back. Rip motherfucking city, bitch! Rip, rip city, bitch! Let's fucking go! We're fucking back! Let's go! I never got an apology, never got a public. I don't even think I really even got a private apology. And I mean, that was kind of a slap in the face for everything that I've done to promote this game. And I don't really ask for much. I mean, that hurt in itself as well. And a lot of people were telling me to sue them and this and that. And you guys like, let's be real. I might make, I may, I make very good money. I'm very fortunate to be in the position that I'm in, but when you're talking about a single entity going up against a corporation like Microsoft, it would be, I talked to lawyers, I talked to mit uh, litigators, I talked to attorneys, I talked to a bunch of people, and we all thought that at the, in the end of the day, it's just not worth, um, it's not worth um, suing them. I mean, even if I did sue them, I would still continue. I mean, I, I, I am back on the mailing list. I'm back on, I will, be, I will be invited to these events, but if I did end up suing them, I would have my ties cut completely with them and it would have to be for millions and millions of dollars to make it even worth it. And even if that were the case, even if I did get that amount, it would be years before I seen that, saw that money. And I probably would have to spend millions more going up against them in court. So it just didn't make sense to sue them. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, it, ju it just sucks though that they, they kind of blamed me for it. Y'all know how much I fucking hate hackers. There's such an inconvenience. They ruin the game, the integrity. I get banned and there's people running around like this. I fucking hate hackers. 
And now that the fact that they can manipulate your account through online while playing Call of Duty, I mean, it was it was brutal. I mean, it was it was tough and it can happen to anybody. And I mean, I at least have a direct line to Activision. Imagine if this happened to a normal normal person. I mean, the whole thing is just fucking crazy, dude. But I got my account back. We're back. And um, I just want to get back to work, you guys. But I mean, I still deal with people coming into my chats just just saying some horrible things about me, even though it's been weeks later. I mean, we pretty much had um, ver verification that, I mean, it was the hacker. I mean, Zeebler, the guy on Twitter, was saying all sorts of crazy shit. And apparently there was some way that they could send you a friend request or a request. I, I don't know how exactly it worked. I mean, you guys, if y'all know me, I don't know shit about computers. Daryl does most of my shit. I don't know anything about them, but they were able to manipulate my account or my machine to make it look like I had cheats on there and ricochet flagged that and they permanently banned me and um i'm just glad i got my account back and moving forward we're just getting back on the grind you guys i know black ops 6 is out we've been playing a little bit of black ops 6 we've been playing some zombies but we're also getting ready for the warzone integration as soon as the warzone integration comes in we are going to be locked in and dialed in i have a pistol what the fuck is this <laughs> i got a pistol again my fucking ass this guy's, this guy's over here Touch up. So again, I appreciate all of you guys. Um, for those of y'all that believed me that I was never cheating, I appreciate the fuck out of you guys. It means the world to me, truly, because I mean, I was just in such a uncomfortable situation. It was a terrible situation, and I I was at the mercy of others, and there was nothing I could do. And even and I knew that I did nothing wrong. I knew for a fact that I never did anything wrong and there was nothing that I could fucking do about it. I don't wish that feeling upon anybody. That's just tough. But a lot of you guys dogged it out with me. A lot of you guys believe me. A lot of my friends, shout out to my friends. Main event for making a banger video. It wasn't me. <laughs> Man, this whole situation was just crazy, but this is another bump in the road. Honestly, well, this sounds also really bad, but when Sensor and Parasite got banned, I was so fucking happy. I mean, maybe we... I, that sounds so selfish. That sounds so selfish. But I knew that I didn't do anything wrong. And I was thinking to myself, well, maybe if Sensor and Parasite get banned, maybe it's some... Maybe they'll look into it more. And the next day, we all got our accounts back. And um, they did tell me that my, uh, my account was still under investigation the day... I got my account back. They were still looking into it, but you could play on your account. That's what they told me. And then the day after that, they told me that my account passed all the tests and the investigation was closed. I was back on my account. So the one thing I also will say is shout out to Call of Shame. Call of Shame came into my chat after this happened and apologized to me. And I thought that that, that meant a lot to me. Came into my chat. And I'm pretty sure he made, he deleted all the videos and he publicly admitted that I was false permabanned. I, I couldn't believe it. So I actually have respect for Call of Shame for doing that. So Call of Shame, thank you so much for telling the, your community that this whole situation of mine was, was wrong. So thank you guys. That was honestly, that, that was insane in itself. Taking back everything they said about me. Wow, wow, we wow. Shout out to Zygo Media for helping us um, run our socials. Zygo, you guys are the best. We're going to the moon once this new Warzone comes out. Main Devent, again, thank you, Main Devent, for making that song. It wasn't me. Uh, shout out to Daryl for all the help on the PC. Shout out to Godfrey, who ran through my PC as well. And Godfrey's the best, and he couldn't find anything either. And that's just why I was saying we knew we didn't do anything wrong the whole time. Thank you guys for supporting me um, through, like I said, the toughest time in my career. It, just some of the messages I saw were just so foul but there was also a lot of positivity and a lot of people that have my back and that's something that i will forever be grateful for so we're running it the fuck up once this new warzone comes out we're going to be locking in for some long streams daily consistent long streams zygo media has been a big help they've helped us out a lot and we got um we got some things that i need to do a better job on as well um for content purposes but wow that was a lot Hope you guys enjoy. Stop by the live streams, you guys. Hope to see you guys on the live streams. And of course, the Twitch. Stop by the Twitch streams. The best in the business. We're the warmest in the business. Wrap up responsibly, folks. Hope to see you guys around. Thank you guys again for your time, and we'll see you guys later.